So some new batteries have recently come on the market. So I'll go ahead and get them on the dyno here. Why would you ever put a large battery like that on a compact drill, a mid-spec drill, or even a large drill for that matter? And that's simply because we want the lowest voltage drop getting the highest power out of these tools. Because as time progresses, we're gonna see more pouch lithium providing a lower voltage drop and a more compact battery pack. Now the Ryobi, kind of comical here, but torque wise, we didn't see a gain over that nine amp hour. Pretty much anything over that four amp hour and the torque levels off at about 200. Watts on the other hand, the eight amp hour fell just below the nine amp hour, which is expected because the nine amp hour has 21 700s while this 12 amp hour here boosted just above the nine amp hour, coming in at 801 watts. AEG, or more commonly known here as rigid, I did see the highest torque number now with this new 12 amp hour. Once you're using the four amp hour max and above, the torque pretty much levels off. So watts wise, we've seen a major gain though, going from the eight amp hour to this 12 amp hour, providing 934 watts. So looking at ranking overall with the highest performing battery, the Rigid moves from third to second place. Now look at Compact here with the new Milwaukee. Now on the dyno with the Forge, I'm gonna show you the best run here. But taking an average, you know, torque wise, no real big change. Overall with this drill, uh, the torque stays pretty steady. But when we look at watts, here's the big gain where we have a power number near the 12 amp hour. So what's crazy is you're getting the power out of this drill using the forge compared to if you had to use a traditional battery here like this 12 amp hour. And comparing that with the kit battery here, this two amp hour, the forge gives this drill 1.8 times the power. Another note on the rigid, no, I don't have the octane batteries. Hopefully at some point I can pick those up. To me, it's crazy that Ryobi and rigid went away from these 21700 cell packs because they do provide quite a punch. Now overall ranking from all the testing, again, the only one that moves up here is the rigid edging out just above the cobalt. Hopefully if all goes as planned, we get to the high power hammer drills by the end of this month or into next, and we can see who really does come out on top. I'll leave the links below to the previous test videos. Thanks for watching and hopefully I'll catch you on the next one.